Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. On the show this morning, the growing problem of unresolved homicides in Boston and how it affects the families of the victims. Also, a church in Dorchester gives a big reason to come together to celebrate the change of seasons. But up first, we continue taking a look at the choices Chelsea residents will have in November as it will have important positions to be filled on the City Council and School Committee as well. Last week we chatted with four of the City Council at Large candidates as Roy Avellaneda, Calvin Brown, Todd Taylor and Damale Vido came on to answer our questions. This week we rounded off by having the remaining two candidates on the show. As we did last week, we'll start off in alphabetical order and the first is incumbent Leo Robinson. Leo, welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Leo, you are running for your 16th term. You've been on the council 15 terms, uh, 30 years there, and you were also the current president of the uh, city council, are you not? Leo, let's start. Um, why are you running again for the <laughs> 16th time here? Well, first of all, I'm born and raised in Chelsea. I'm a family man. I own, uh, we own a house in Chelsea. I'm a United States Army veteran. I'm a co-founder of the Lewis H. Latimer Society with my brother Ron. And it's important for me to be active involved within the city to make sure the city stays its course and approve the services that we provide for the residents of Chelsea. Okay. In your opinion, what are the three most uh, pressing issues uh, facing Chelsea residents in the next few years? Taxes, education, and public safety. And we need taxes in order to be able to provide services. And if we don't have taxes, we're not going to be able to provide services. The education. It's not like you're saying more taxes. More, well, more taxes. You know, we're all going to be hit with a major increase in taxes because of the proximity to Boston, uh, what the uh, property values have escalated to. You know, some people have been able to cash in and get a nice uh, piece of change for their property, but people like myself and other residents who are going to be living there for the rest of our lives, it kind of hurts us um, in regards to the taxes that we're paying. And the other issue you mentioned was? Education. Education. Um, education in Chelsea is, is very important. Right now, the school system, we're up to about 6,000 children in the school system. And, la and last January, we had an increase of 1,000 students coming into the Chelsea school system, which we had to provide for with no assistance from the state. So therefore, the city had to come up with some money to be able to provide those students with an education. What makes uh, you a good representative for the residents of Chelsea? I'm a man about town. I participate in all community events. Um, I'm uh, easy access to the community. Uh, the majority of the people in that community have my cell phone number. They're able to reach out to me and they see me walking around Chelsea, all the different neighborhoods um, from different times during the, during the week. What uh, are you planning to do to make City Hall more proactive in uh, providing city services and maintenance? Well, I think City Hall does a pretty good job in providing services, and I think the City Council's job is to make sure that we're able to provide the necessary tools to the um, for City services so that they're adequately being able to provide those services, such as rubbish collection, um, cleaning, cleaning our streets, doing road work, and making our city presentable overall to the community. Okay. And uh, can you share any specific initiatives that uh, you yourself plan on spearheading? Uh, this, this coming year, I'm going to spearhead the uh, master plan, which I think we need a very mix in regards to the master plan that fits into our community. We haven't done a master plan, a plan since 1971. I think it's a, it's a time for us to take a look at that and how we can approve our community by having a mixed, mixed uh, master plan. Now, with all the new developments going on uh, in the city, you've got the uh, the silver line that's going to be coming through. Um, rents and housing are always an issue. Uh, what is your uh, your take on this and, and um, how you plan to approach these issues? Dealing with the rents and, and the housing issue, uh, that's a, it's actually a statewide issue that we need to engage our state uh, representatives and our state senators to find a mechanism of how we can control some of the development that's taken place in a lot of communities, not just in our community, where we seem to be looking for tax revenue and we're looking to take 
big developments and not really get a lot of turn for the city itself in regards to providing necessary housing for people who want to stay in the community. Okay. Now, the city, as you know, has such an, an enormous Latino population. Should the city do more to diversify its own workforce? Well, when you're talking about diversity, you're talking about you, when you're talking about me, and they're talking about other people who don't look like Latinos. I think it's important that everybody in our community is represented, and not just one segment of the community. It's very important that we all work collectively together to improve our community. Any specific ideas or how do you go about doing that? Well, actually, uh, this coming Thursday night, um, I'm holding a respect and unity uh, gathering at the Dockside Restaurant and inviting all candidates and supporters to participate, and it's open to the public. Okay, Leo Robinson, uh, running for your 16th term on the City Council, uh, president, the current president of the City Council. Thanks for coming in, and, you know, good luck in November. And thank you. All right. Well, when we come back, Chelsea City Councilor candidate Deborah Washington right here on Urban Update.